Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a year-end review of the Disney Limited Edition dolls that released in 2023. There's not too many, so stay tuned. It'll be kind of a quick video, but thought everybody might enjoy. Okay, so like I said, this was kind of a light year for dolls. I only passed on one, that being the, and I don't really consider them dolls, the Nightmare Before Christmas set. So everything else uh, I did grab, and we started out the year strong with Tinkerbell. Really, really cute uh, doll there. I believe she came out in like January or February. It's been quite a uh, hot minute and I'd have to go back and look at all my videos to see exactly when. Um, really nice doll. Love that we got one. Um, this was for uh, Peter Pan's anniversary. Very, very well done. First 17 inch Tinkerbell doll they've ever done. Next up, and it wasn't until I believe May, uh, so a, quite a stretch in between releases, was the live action Little Mermaid Ariel. Really nice doll, limited edition of 5200, and by the way, Tinkerbell was 5500. Um, but a very well done doll. Showed up in Disney stores before anybody even really knew what was going on, so that was kind of fun. <laughs> And then we had to wait, I believe, until June or maybe even July. I think it was June, though, before. And we saw her photos back in, like, February. But we did have to wait until June for Mulan. Mulan was one of 4,512. Very strange number. But, of course, this was for her 25th anniversary. Had to get this one. Absolutely stunning doll. Did eventually sell out, as did uh, Tink and The Little Mermaid. And then in July 10th, <laughs> I know the date on this one, was the bride or Constance Hatchaway from the Haunted Mansion. This, of course, was in uh, cahoots with all of the Haunted Mansion merch that released for the anniversary of that ride. A phenomenal doll, a surprise doll. Very, very, very happy to get her. She was one of 6,000. She was available also in parks. Um, I know Walt Disney World had it. I'm pretty sure Disneyland did as well. But uh, this doll is absolutely amazing. I am so, so glad they gave us a doll of Constance. And then we had to wait, I believe, until it was October for the Mirabelle, which was another surprise doll. She showed up in the parks before we really knew what was going on. Um, doll, she was one of 6,600. 6,600? 6, is that, yeah, is that 6,600? 6,650. <laughs> um, such strange numbers this year. But uh, she is a wonderful doll. I do believe she's still available on Shop Disney. I have a feeling this one will be one of the ones that ends up going on clearance. But I am glad they did give us a doll. Again, no real fanfare around her until about a week before her release. And uh, yeah, we were very excited to get her a couple years late. <laughs> but nonetheless, a wonderful, wonderful doll made by Shop Disney. And then in, I believe, later in October... Maybe it was early November. I can't remember quite which. We did get this surprise release. Everything was a surprise this year. There's like no no leaks or anything. We got the Disney 100th anniversary Mickey and Minnie limited edition set. And this one, let me see if I got my kids stocking stuffers are still back there. 4,750. So kind of a random number higher than the other ones that have been released like this. And we did just get a leak of a new set coming of it looks like a Valentine's uh, set so that'll be exciting to see um, but love this set and everyone's complaining about the the um, proportions being off these are supposed to look like the characters that are running around the parks so if you know and have been to the parks these look exactly like that so they're like humans in costume pretty much um, really really cool very well done and then what has been rumored for all year long we did get the um limited edition 10 year anniversary frozen platinum set so we have anna and elsa this was limited edition of 3000 um wonderful wonderful set great way to end the year and yeah i'm very very glad i was able to grab them i do believe they are still available at uh, the parks um, online they sold out within minutes um, but we kind of expected that considering but yes there is 2023 in a nutshell Nothing like years past where we had designer dolls and a doll every other month. Um, so I'm grateful. My wallet's grateful. <laughs> um, there's plenty of other stuff releasing this year, but this is just the Shop Disney Limited Edition dolls for 2023. So if you guys have any questions about anything, do uh, leave those in the comments down below. I'll be more than happy to respond back as soon as I possibly can. Otherwise, stay tuned. More to come. Hope everybody's had an extra magical day, and we will see you real soon.